we're live. It's always going to be the it's always going to be the first one, isn't it? Of course. <laughs> yeah, you've gone. Come. Am I back? I can see me. Oh, I am still here. <laughs> if you can hear me. <laughs> um, I'm just going to say this. I'm just going to say this in case I am live on my Proflex page, guys. I'm just trying to set it up with, that you're um, live. To, to do a chat with Emma. Yeah, I'm just trying to set up to do a chat with Emma from um, the Dogs Deli. And I can't see Emma at the moment. This is the first time I've actually done a joint um, live on Zoom. So I'm hoping to... <laughs> oh, I'm such a technophobe. I really am. Oh, I'm just saying so. I'm saying so. I wish I had a little bit more nouse when it came to this. <laughs> right, all I can see is me in the call. Let's go back on Zoom again, see where we're at. Right, I think we are live. I'm not quite sure, but let's, let's go for it anyway. It's saying that we are live. <laughs> Sorry about okay. my randomness, guys, if I actually <laughs> just, just saw a couple of minutes of me trying to get on here. Um, good evening. Hope everybody is uh, staying safe and well, and you've all had a really lovely bank holiday. It's absolutely glorious here in Devon, so I hope wherever you are, it's beautiful too. Um, I'm just carrying on with the theme of the next couple of the week, uh, couple of weeks, which is uh, meet the stockist, and that mainly is obviously pro flat stockists throughout the UK. Um, sorry, for, for, <laughs> I'm half winking at you. Um, yeah, just having my stockists on to have a chat, basically about their business, um, what they do, their experience, what kind of inspired them to start their business, but mainly just to kind of obviously with the lockdown and the situation that we're in at the moment sometimes we don't actually know um what's on our, our doorstep we've heard of like businesses but we don't know exactly what they do and what they can offer products and services or their general knowledge really in terms of like maybe animal nutrition um sometimes it's things like um grooming or those kind of things daycare so um that's the reason why we're doing these lives over the next kind of couple of weeks today i've got the lovely emma i'm not winking at you emma promise <laughs> <laughs> i believe you i believe you from the dog's day in let me get this right is it tildesley tildesley yes Yes. in Manchester uh, obviously Manchester yeah. is a very big area I've chatted to Emma about this and, and obviously we'll go into a little bit more detail about the areas that she covers in uh, a little bit later down the line but um, yeah yeah so so over to you really um, but just if you want to start by kind of saying a little bit about yourself what inspired you to start your business and basically what you do because I know you do quite a lot it's not just kind of one thing that you do you you kind of manufacture as well um, as being obviously a trade stockist so it'd be really great to hear you know really about everything that you actually offer there okay well I'm Emma I'm nearly 30 we took over our pet shop which was previously known as Hudson's um, in 2016 in November uh, so yeah. nearly four years and it was just a bog standard pet shop very old fashioned pet shop. We sold pets. There wasn't any raw or natural things going on in there. So it's, it's been a really long journey to get to where we are now. Um, I'm, yeah, raw is, is the, the top thing that we sell. Um, and we've changed, I'd like to say hundreds of dogs over from a kibble diet to a more natural diet. Yeah. Um, in that time, I've done um, a canine and feline nutrition diploma. Um, which specialises in bath diets and I'm just currently undertaking a secondary uh, nutrition diploma and a holistic health certificate as well uh, just so I can help people more with herbs uh, for the people who want to do a more natural treatments on their dogs rather than using chemicals yeah. um, and the manufacturing side we don't actually manufacture it ourselves we have it manufactured at a DEFRA approved manufacturer um, but the recipe was made by us um, for our little dog yeah. Blossom, it began in our kitchen. Um, so Blossom used to suffer with really bad recurring ear infections, skin infections. Her hair used to fall out, which was really underweight. She just wouldn't eat. Um, and then we discovered raw in 2016. 
and she's been on it ever since and she's as fit as a fiddle but she's super fussy so we made blossoms bowl which is our own brand raw dog food um specifically for her and then we had customers asking about it when we were talking to our customers about it and then hey ho it uh it ended up as a product that we sell a lot of um and it has helped loads of dogs um especially fussy ones <laughs> we have added vegetables and fruits in there so yeah. it tends to be a little bit more palatable for the fussy ones i was gonna say yeah talking a little bit about the recipes and are, are they just kind of like single proteins or are they um kind of like so complete right yeah so it's, it's a multi-protein raw uh, so they come in in dinners if you like so we do like a beef chicken duck rabbit beef and tripe and lamb uh, yeah. and within there if it's a duck one for example it has chicken offal in uh, the lamb one has rabbit offal and then you have your added carrot apple um spinach sea kelp turmeric salmon oil i don't think i missed anything out of there um so again to help with <laughs> skin <laughs> coat yeah. joint issues um as well as making it a tiny bit more tasty and added fiber obviously with like your apples in there yeah yeah so that so that's kind of yours but then do you stock other brands as well we do. we do yeah we stock um durham animal feeds just as like a bog standard single protein complete um and we sell landy woods bones m the majority of um, and we do a couple of boneless meats as well for yeah. the dogs that need a, a lower bone ratio in their diet yeah yeah that was so a good good collection there from a, a complete and then just down to basics all different types of yeah me yeah. so it kind of suits anybody that's look, looking for um you know for, for any type of of a raw sort of like diet doesn't it definitely definitely we, we do sell um a couple of commercial foods as well so we do fourth glade uh, for the people who don't really want to feed raw but want to feed a more natural food uh, yeah. so we do the grain free versions and they're just range which is just meat and nothing else added and yeah. um, we do our own grain free kibble again for the people that don't want to feed either a wet or a raw diet yeah. we have a, a high quality grain free uh, with like a 60 percent meat percentage in so yes. a bit higher quality than others yeah yeah so just really kind of like focusing on the natural as, as natural and and fresh as you can really definitely um, definitely the same yeah 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 so you've got a wide selection of treats as well yeah I'd, I'd love to be able to tell you them all but i don't know them all <laughs> We have that many. I have no idea. Um, You've got a good selection of natural treats. Yeah. A huge selection of natural yeah. treats. Yeah. <laughs> so if somebody is kind of like thinking, oh, my dog, so we, we, we talk an awful lot about nutrition and obviously, you know, 70, 80 percent of um, our dog's immunity is based in the gut. So it's really important what we actually feed. And you've talked about yeah. Blossom there yourself um, and all of the different sort of health issues that she went through. And, and obviously, you know, feeding a, a fresh kind of like raw diet what a transformation that was so if anybody kind of is thinking about right I would like to you know my dog has got certain issues I'd like to think about transitioning uh, transitioning over to a fresher raw kind of like diet obviously you have the expertise there with you know the, the um the qualifications and the knowledge that you've got to be able to talk them through that so yeah, is that definitely. something that you can kind of do over the phone yeah over the lockdown, phone by like, email. I imagine there's not a lot of trade at the minute. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. lots, lots. Okay, so um, so yeah, no, we we can advise <laughs> over the phone. We can advise by email. We advise on Facebook. Um, any platform. Okay, okay. So obviously, at the end of this, guys, what I'll do is I'll pop a link um, in any way of um, the website and and Emma's Facebook, the Dogs Deli. So you can contact her if you are thinking, if you're living in the, the Manchester area, and we'll talk about, again, your, what way you kind of serve within that, um, then obviously you can have a chat with her and, and, you know, decide really where you'd like to take things in terms of their diet. So obviously supplements, you sell Proflex. Um, do you sell a lot of other types of like natural sort of like supplements or shampoos, those kind of things? Have you got a good selection of those kind of things? Yeah, we have quite a few different supplements. Um herbal supplement wise it's literally proflax we don't do many others um i don't really want to name them <laughs> we do um we do vermex okay, for women <laughs> well we, we don't do door west at the moment which is one that we did want to get in but we found that proflax is um a better choice 
for most. Yeah. Um, we do like Vermex, Data Maceous Earth. Yeah. We've got natural shampoos and conditioners in. Uh, so yeah, everything as natural as possible. We do also sell like small animal things and wild bird stuff. And again, as natural as we possibly can for those. It's That's good to know. That's good to know. Because I know obviously, you know, I, I talk about dogs, dog and we're thinking about moving into like you know doing supplements for cats later this year and then maybe horses in the future but yeah yeah obviously bird feeds and those kind of things as well it's that they're they're really important you know for a lot of people so it's good that you've got the whole range there yeah yeah no we do um and we do all the raptor and reptile frozen foods as well again keeping it all natural because that's what they do take a kibble yes (laughs) um so we have all those as well yeah, great. So obviously with, with the situation that we're in and, and lockdown and that, obviously you've got a retail shop there. Are, are you closed or are you open and just obviously, you know, abiding by the social distancing, allowing so many people in at a time? Is that how you're working it? Yeah, we're, we're open on reduced hours at the moment. So we're only open Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, 11 till 3 and Saturdays, 10 till 2. You can just come to us. There's a table in the doorway. So we're serving from the door. Uh, and as long as people abide by social distancing rules whilst queuing outside, that's fine by us. Um, and we do also offer deliveries on a Friday um, in the local area. So within around, a, I'd say, a 10 mile radius of the shop. Um, we do actually live in Rosendale, which is 25 miles away from work. Um, so anywhere in between we can deliver to, um, as well as anywhere in Rosendale. So Real. we do cover quite a wide area. Yeah. Is that all on your website or Facebook that people can look at their postcode area and think, oh, you deliver within that area? Or they can just give you a call, I suppose, can't they? Yeah, yeah, they can just give us a call. We, we do update the Facebook page as much as we can with areas that we deliver to. Um, I think the most of the areas that we deliver to are Tildesley, Astley, Atherton and Lee um, and anywhere in between those really so you've got like Himley um, they're the majority of what we deliver to at the moment but we'd never say no to a delivery we deliver to one lady in Northamptonshire it gets posted out um, by another lovely stockist of yours at Raw Feeders um, I go up there and the lovely Gina sends it off for me <laughs> oh that's brilliant that's brilliant it's good that you can all work kind of like quite well together like that so. yeah. yeah yeah it's all about supporting each other especially yeah. with with natural foods I think is if, if the more dogs that we can get healthy the better so if we can work together with that that's that's the best way yeah yeah absolutely so how have you found things kind of like with um what with what's been going on is it is it kind of really affected your business or have you found that you know people are still kind of going online and ordering and yeah yeah we've we've to be fair I think daily we have more customers now that are wanting to transition onto raw than before lockdown so I don't know whether that's because people have got more time to research about what the dogs yeah. should be eating and um yeah. we a lot of our custom comes from um recommendations from friends and things so when they're in the dog park and they see a dog with a nice shiny coat and say what's your dog fed on yeah they say, oh we uh, we go to the dog's deli in Tildesley so yeah we our custom hasn't dropped on the natural side anyway um, just our small animal stuff but I assume people are getting it from supermarkets with the shopping and I don't blame them yeah. um so that, that's fine by us yeah yeah do you have a minimum order value at all for people or? Um, for delivery in our vans it's a 20 pound um minimum delivery and it's free within a three mile radius and then a three pound delivery charge anything over three miles um huh. but yeah every friday and at the moment i've got my stepdad doing it so <laughs> okay. our deliveries because we're super busy on a friday <laughs> so all deliveries are, go out on a friday then basically yeah yeah we need to know by like a thursday morning if yeah. anybody requires a delivery for the Friday and then we can get it all packed up for them yeah okay brilliant but if anybody wants a delivery kind of like sending out then they can just go on your website place an order then you can post it out to them yeah well at, at the moment we have no payment options on the website it will be added as soon as I can figure it out right. <laughs> um, but you can browse what we've got on there and give us a call or an email with an order and yeah no we can post it out I think it's it's £12.50 for up to 30 kilo I think I'm sure Gina yeah. will tell me if I'm wrong on that Okay, okay. But I mean, they can just, people can just give you a call and find out more information if they need to, can't they? So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, that's brilliant. Thank you very much for your time You're today. Welcome. Thank you for having me. That's all right. I think it's, a, you know, it's a, it is a really good thing for people to kind of like know, like I say, what's on their doorstep and the fact that, you know, you have such a, um, a massive range of different like natural and raw foods. Um, hiya. Is that your little 
Is that your little oh, one in the yeah, background? That's my dog, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get peace and quiet and everybody joins me. I've, I've got the dog as well, so. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it's good to know that, you know, and, and obviously you, you're able to, to kind of get things sent out and to know, you know, what businesses are kind of like doing and your experience as well. I think that's quite critical, really, because, I mean, I live in, in a very small area and, you know, a lot of, like, I've got a, a car that I drive around and it's got my logo on the side, but, you know, I can say to someone five miles away and they'll go, who's that? So I think it's these are a really good things to do with with people to just so it enables you to have a chat and, and let people know that you're there really so Definitely. yeah yeah so thank you very much for your time this evening no, I'll let you go back and, and enjoy the gorgeous <laughs> weather that you're having up there as well oh it's lovely <laughs> all right and um yes like I say I will pop Emma's details in the comments below and any questions that you've got if you live within her vicinity and you'd like to know more you can just um contact her direct by email or going on the Facebook page um yes so thanks very much again thank you. <laughs> enjoy right, your evening care. thank you, <laughs> you too, <Sam. laughs> take care bye you too bye, bye.